Welcome to Electron Line. To get a better feel for what a converging sequence is, let's do another example. The sequence is defined as follows, that the first element in the sequence is equal to 1, and then the next element in the sequence is equal to 1 half times the quantity of the previous element plus 8. So, another way of writing that is, the next element is equal to 1 half, the previous element plus 8. So, does that sequence converge or not? And it's not always apparent by looking at it, at least not the general equation. And so it helps sometimes by plugging in some of the values one by one and see if it seems to converge to a particular value. Let's go ahead and do that. a sub 2, that's the next element, is equal to 1 half times the previous element plus 8. So it would be 1 plus 8 divided by 2, which is 4.5. Then the third element would be the previous element plus 8 divided by 2. So it would be 4.5 plus 8 is 12.5 divided by 2, which is 6.25. The next one would be this plus 8 divided by 2. That would be 14.25 divided by 2, which is 7.125. You can see that the increases are becoming smaller, which would be indicative of something converging, but it may not be apparent yet what the value will be that it converges to. So let's continue. 7 plus 8 would be 15.125 divided by 2 equals, and I get 7.5625. We add 8 to that, plus 8, and divide by 2, and we get 7.78125. 7 and then we add 8 to that, Divide by 2, and we get 7.8906, and I'm going to leave off some of those extra decimal places. So we add plus 8, add 8 to that, divided by 2, and I get 7.945. I'm going to add plus 8 to that, divide by 2, and I get 7.973. And I add 8 to that, divide by 2, and I get 7.986. It's beginning to look like this sequence is going to converge to 8. So I would then go in the limit and say that in the limit, as n approaches infinity of this particular sequence, which is a to the n, well, that's going to be equal to 8, and that is my guess. Now, if you want to, you can go ahead and do that five, six, seven, ten more times, but eventually you can see that the number continues to get closer and closer and closer to eight. And so eventually you can take a look at that. And so I'm pretty sure that this sequence converges at eight. Not apparent when you first start, but this is definitely a good method to see if the sequence converges one, and if it does, what that limit is. Where does it converge to? And there's a nice example for you.